Hey guys, what's up? It's Marco Varius here. We're on the quest to catch the Galarian Zapdos. Let me show you my team that's going to help me out with that. We got Tiamat 2099, the Crystal Beast, Busta, King Robo, Urshifu, and Heavy Meta. Now, of course, there are the three legendary birds that are special because they're Galarian in the Sword and Shield DLC. This is the first of the three, so I haven't caught the other two yet. I chose the Zapdos first because I like the fact that he's a flightless bird. You know, who doesn't like a good old flightless bird that kind of reminds you of the dinosaurs or something? Though it's okay if you don't like ostriches or emus. Hi, pony. <laughs> okay, so what I'm trying to do now is just creep up on him right quick. Because you got to track him down, kind of like in Gold and Silver when they have the roaming legendary beasts. Uh, so... You go to the region on the map where you know the bird is, and you hope you run into him in the wild area. So that's where I am now. And I am just gingerly making my approach, uh, hoping I can get close enough to nab him. But uh, he might just dart off if I get a little too close, in which case I will hop on the bike and see if I can wear him out. Ooh. Isn't that ironic? Catching Zapdos. Thunderstorm starts. What are the chances? Hey, little buddy. All right. You can't lose focus, though. We got the goal at hand. And it's right within our grasp. We can just get a little bit closer. I think we're going to nab this. Okay. No sweat. We'll wear him out the old-fashioned way. And if I catch him, I know I'll just be that much closer to becoming a Pokemon Master. Some people often ask me, Hey Mark, why do you want to be a Pokemon Master so badly? And if you really want to know, um, a friend of mine who is no longer with us, uh, I promised to them upon their deathbed that I would become a Pokemon Master. Uh, they were a huge fan of Pokemon, so I gotta carry that torch and keep the flame alive for them. You know what I mean? What comes along with that, too, is uh, my own uh, <laughs> interesting headcanon that keeps Pokemon a little more engaging for me. You know, uh, you may have noticed earlier, I do like to nickname most of my Pokemon. Uh, I haven't nicknamed Urshifu yet, just because I'm not a big fan of him, and I haven't thought of something creative enough. Uh, I'm sure I'll come up with something. Uh, and, of course, my most prized Pokemon I have with me is the uh, King Robo, who is a Magna Zone that is also shiny. Uh, it was the first shiny Pokemon I actually ever got, if you don't count the Red Gyarados the game kind of throws at you in the second gen. I got it in, what was it, the Omega Ruby version. Just by, I had put a Ditto in the Magna Mite in the daycare center, and I just, like, hatched hundreds and hundreds of eggs. You know, it must have taken, like casually playing like a couple hours a day for a week or two till I finally got it. But, uh, you know, it was definitely worth it despite the fact that his stats uh, at least something to be desired, but it's not like I play competitively anyways, I just kind of play to have fun, you know, and to catch them all. I completed the Pokedex, not on the DLC, but in the main game of this, so at least there's that. And of course, I am the champion, and a little bit more, since we are getting a little closer to Zapdos. Oh yeah, finally. <laughs> this is where the fun begins. You encounter the wild Zapdos. Come on, TMAT 2099. I know you can do it. So of course, I like to hit them with the old status effect. So Thunder Wave is a sure shot way to paralyze most Pokemon. And if we lose HP down, I'll catch him in no time. When I'm catching legendaries in these games, one of my favorite things to do is to not use, like, an Ultra Ball or any ball that's going to make it slightly easier. Like, I kind of find I own it a lot more and I'm more proud of the achievement of catching them if it's in a regular Pokeball or some anything with, like, a lesser catch rate. Like, if you use, like, a Nest Ball. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like that's so owned on the Pokemon's part. Now, uh, Premiers and Luxuries, though, are probably my favorite to catch them in. I'm a big fan of the Quick Balls as well, I just think their design is ugly, so I don't like to catch uh, important Pokemon I like to carry around with me. You know, there's something gratifying, you know, when you go to the Pokemon Center and you see all the 
Pokeballs appear in the slots and they're all within like a neat pattern or they're all different. You know, because it's your team. And let's see. I think I'll kill him if I attack him with team out again, so I'm gonna see if I should switch someone out. Like a Whittle's HP down just a little bit more. <laughs> I don't really talk like that. A little bit more. Okay. Let's see. Maybe we should just throw a ball at it and see what happens. I think so too. Pokeball. Go! Yes. Oh my gosh. On the first try? Come on, man. This was so close. Guess we'll try again. You can dust your ball and try again. Try again. One. It's even worse than the last time. What gives? <laughs> But it failed. You sure? Okay. I think I'm just gonna stick with the strategy of just throwing balls and hoping he gives up and stays in. You know, I am willing to compromise on a timer ball as well. If my patience runs like that. Keeps using the focus engine. It's not gonna do nothing, Zapdos. Okay, you know, let's change up the strategy a little. Lure ball? Can you imagine <laughs> if you stay in the lure ball? That's better. Dust balls are pretty cool, but I find it makes it a little too easy. You know, and I, I play at night a lot usually when I'm playing Pokemon anyway. So we're gonna try the Luxury Ball because I think Zapdos deserves a nice, a nice cozy space where he can put his talons up, so to speak. Let's try this again. Come on. Give me that old three jiggle and a stop. I don't even know what the catch rate is on a luxury ball to be quite honest. Like I think it's like 1.5 times the regular Pokeball, but I'm not so deep into the Pokemon meta that I am aware of that much stuff. I only know things here and there, and I again like I try to play casually and not take it too seriously. <laughs> so it would be cool to battle a friend, I guess. Once or twice. Come oh, on. He's definitely gonna stay in this time, right? <laughs> Let him go. Let's do it. Yeah. He's gotta stay in this. Come on. It almost matches his colors. <laughs> ah, man. Oh, no. That might hurt. Meh. Okay, Tiamat can uh, stand up to anything. Yeah, there's the dragon. Come here, ball. Let's go. This has to be the time that... Oh, man. Maybe I should hit him a little, I don't know. Maybe I should just keep throwing balls. It's too hard to decide. We're gonna keep trying, I guess. Come on. I know you got it this time. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. Why well, you gotta play me like that, Pokemon? That ain't right. That ain't right. Okay, we got this one for sure. I just know it. Come on, come on, give me that three. Yeah, one, two, three. Oh yeah. Hook, line, and sinker. We caught him. Zapdos. Oh yeah, we get them EXPs. Yeah. Good job, Urshifu, 73. Sweet. Okay, Zapdos data will be added to the Pokedex. Zapdos, the strong legs Pokemon. Galarian form. When its feathers rub together, they produce a crackling sound, zapping of electricity. That's why this Pokemon is called Zapdos. If only he was a shiny. Oh man. <laughs> Wish I thought of a good name before I caught him. Okay, don't worry guys, I'll think of something. Let's see, he's a flightless bird. Electricity, yes, yes, yes. Thundery. Thundery. It's kind of like Thunder and Castleberry. I don't know, maybe I'll change it later. And you know what? I think we should keep him with me. I want to check this guy out and test him in battle personally. And we will get rid of... I don't know, man. We'll get rid of you. It'll be okay, Busta. You'll have your another chance in the ring, I promise. 
You caught Zapdos, one of the legendary blah blah blahs. You jotted down it as the clue in your book. The bird Pokemon of legend. When the sun reaches its zenith, it shines directly down upon the great tree with leaves that seem to burn. It is there. Damn, I hit the button. Oh well. Oi, it's me, Peony? I don't even know how you say that dude's name. I find him annoying though. You know, I kind of just wish he'd go away or stop talking. Well, what can you do? You know, um, I don't know if the shield version has like a different guide for the uh, Crown Tundra area or not. I don't know if that guy's in both games. But, uh, whatever. Let's heal this bird and then find a wild Pokemon to beat up. Yeah. That ought to do his ego good after being caught by me. <laughs> Okay, so who shall it be? This one? Yeah. Oh! Figures be. You going down. Go thundery. Oh yeah. Thunderous kick, baby. You know you gotta hit him with that. And use thunderous kick. Oh Clash. Ooh. That's right, you ain't bad, you ain't nothing. Check it out, we got some EXP. Good times. Well, it's about time we'd hit her, so Thunder and I are going to get some rest and nap at our setup Pokemon camp. But thank you for joining me on my journey, and we are one step closer to becoming a master. So take care, and have Great day or night.